Let's look at this question number 8 from November 2017. Solution of sodium hydroxide is prepared by dissolving 6 grams of solid sodium hydroxide in 500 cubic centimeters of water. This solution reacts completely with 10 grams of impure ammonium chloride according to the equation below. Sodium hydroxide plus ammonium chloride goes to sodium chloride plus water plus ammonia. Okay, I checked this equation. It is balanced. So it says calculate the concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution. So now we need the concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution and so we can use C equals N over V but we can also use that other one C equals M divided by MV. Do you remember this one when um, it's C you put in in place of N which is the number of moles instead of putting M over M you substitute it straight into the concentration formula. So I'm going to do that so C equals M over MV. So there were six grams and they were divided by the relative molecular mass of sodium hydroxide. I'm going to cheat and do it over here. So 23 for the sodium, 16 for the oxygen and one for the hydrogen. Okay, don't do this, but you get the picture. This is going to come to 40 and this is multiplied by 500 cubic centimeters of water which is going to be 0 0,5 cubic decimeters. So the concentration of sodium hydroxide is going to be 6 over 40 times 0.5 yes because I added that up Okay, so what is this if you put it into your calculator? The concentration of the sodium hydroxide is going to be, mm, in your calculator, 0 0,3, 0 0,3 moles per cubic decimeter. Okay, so that's the first part. I think it's got four marks because you have to realize that you have to go M over M. So if you do it in two steps, then you get the other mark for, um, you get one mark for the M over M and then three marks for the calculation. But because you did it all in one here, I would imagine they're going to give you the extra mark for finding the relative molecular mass. Now it says calculate the percentage impurities in the ammonium chloride. Now have a look here. It says impurity. So we need to be careful. Normally these questions say calculate the percentage purity of the. But it says calculate the percentage impurities. Impurities, not purities, in the ammonium chloride. So when we get to the end, we don't want the percentage purity. We want the percentage impurity. So right at the end, we must bear that in mind. But for now, we first need to find out how we know that there was... 10 grams of impure ammonium chloride we need to know how many moles were actually in there so we have to use the sodium hydroxide to do that now if you have a look here we've actually found a concentration of sodium hydroxide we haven't actually found the number of moles of sodium hydroxide so we actually need to find the number of moles and we can either go um, m over m six over this 40, the molecular mass that we calculated, or we can use this concentration and calculate it. So let's just go the number of moles of sodium hydroxide is equal to M over M. Okay, so the number of moles of sodium hydroxide, I hope you understand why we are trying to find the moles because that other thing was actually a concentration, not a. a not a proper, it was a concentration, not a number of moles. So this one is going to be 6 over 40, calculators out, 6 over 40, 0 0.15 moles. Okay, so now that we've got the moles of sodium hydroxide, what we can do is we can now work on the mole ratio. Okay, so if we look on the mole ratio, of sodium hydroxide to ammonium chloride 
I'm not really keen to type ammonium chloride out. Okay, according to the balanced equation, this is 1 is to 1. Okay, so then if we've got this many moles of sodium hydroxide, we're going to have this many moles of ammonium chloride. Okay, so we've now found how many moles of ammonium chloride were in this, um, in that 10 grams. So what we need to do is find out in actual fact, what is the mass now? What is the mass of ammonium chloride? Okay. So we need to, in order to do this, we need to find the relative molecular mass of ammonium chloride because we're going to use um, N equals MM, but we're going to go M equals NM. So this is going to be 14 for the, ammonia, um, the nitrogen, 4 for the hydrogen, and 35 and a half for the chlorine. So what does that come to on your calculator? Uh, something like 53 and a half. Okay, so now the mass of the ammonium chloride is going to be equal to, remember this formula, uh, N equals M over M, so small m equals NM. So then the mass of ammonium chloride is going to be 0 0.15 multiplied by 53 and a half, which is the relative molecular mass. So what is this going to come to on your calculator? Uh, 0.15 times 53 and a half, 8,025, okay. But now look here, this is the mass of the things that reacted, okay. Because remember we got it from the mole ratio from what we calculated. So this is how much reacted. And the question says, what are the percentage impurities? So we actually need to find the impurities. So the impurities will be the mass of the sample, 10 grams. Remember, it's up here in the question here, 10 grams. Okay. Subtract what reacted. And this is going to give you 10 minus 8.025 gives you 1,975 grams. So now the percentage, this as a percentage, is going to be... 1,975 divided by or over, remember you're supposed to be putting this as a fraction, the mass of the original sample, times by, times by 100. So this is going to be 19,75% impure. And that, I do believe, is the end of the question.